Hey, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alexander, and I'm a guitarist, composer, and overall music nerd from Copenhagen, Denmark. And today, we're taking a look at a high-gain rhythm tone using the Line 6 Helix. Enjoy. <laughs> All right, all right. So a lot of cool things to talk about today. Before we dive into the tone that I dialed in for you in Helix Edit, I need to pay credit where it's due. The demo that you're gonna listen to in just a minute with the tone is from the Danish mighty death metal band Clients that I have the honor of playing guitar for here for a few shows in the spring. To be more specific, the song that I used for this example is their newest single, We Unlove With Ease, and you should definitely check it out. I put a link to it down in the description. In other news, over on my own website, composition101.com, I just launched a mega high gain bundle called the High Gain Mega Bundle, where I took a bunch of the cool high gain amps in the Line 6 Helix and I built three or four presets around it. And if I have to say so myself, it turned out pretty cool. You can also check that out down in the description. The last bit of news, my own project Etra is gonna release their first single uh, probably when about this video comes out. Today is Thursday the 27th and it will come out tomorrow at midnight, the Friday the 28th of January 2022. So I will put a link to that down in the description as well. So if you want to support my own project or just check out some cool prog, be sure to head over there as well. All right, enough talk for now. Let's just dive into the tone demo and I will see you in Helix Edit. Right, welcome to Helix Edit. I hope you enjoyed the tone and you stuck around to see how we created it. And um, I'm gonna go fairly quickly through the presets because I don't need to go through all of the parameters and stuff, but I'm, I'm gonna stop along the way. So you have a chance to pause and uh, write down the specific parameters if you want to exactly copy this tone. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about why each block is there in the first place and also what I sort of look for in each block. So you can learn a little bit about at least my process when it comes to these specific types of tones. All right, so this should be uh, available for both uh, the Helix family, the Helix LT and the Big Helix and the Rack, but also the HX Dump because I tried to contain myself to only eight blocks. And for this kind of stuff, basically that's all you need, right? Okay, so first of all, let's just go through all of the different blocks. First of all, we have the input gate on, we have a simple EQ in the beginning, then we have a compressor. I like the Rockchester compressor a lot. Then we have a drive pedal, Horizon Drive. Because we want it to be super tight, and uh, for this specific tone at least, I used my fast guitars Roma, which has a bare knuckle 
something something in it, uh, which is uh, fairly fairly high output and uh, also fairly dark, and we'll get back to that. Then we have the amp for this specific tone. I chose the Ref Gen Purple. I really really enjoy that amp, and you should test it out as well if you already haven't. And I put a graphic EQ. Then we have a dual cap block. This is very important, dual cap block. And in the end, of course, a good old room reverb. And uh, I think I boosted it by 60 dB in the end, but that's personal preference. Just so you know, if um, you do exactly as I do and you found it fairly low in volume, uh, also with the master settings and all of that, I have boosted it in a bit here, but it shouldn't really impact the, um, the tone as far as I'm concerned, at least. All right, so let's start with the amp. Um, here I look for a fairly sort of um, balanced tone. These, these pickups are kind of dark. So as you see, I boosted the treble quite a lot, right? It's all the way up at 7.6. And also feel free to uh, pause the video now and uh, write down the settings if you want to copy these exact settings, that is. Um, and the presence is right around the middle, right? For some people, this might be high, but these pickups are fairly dark. At least I found them fairly dark. So I boost a lot of high end uh, in this tone. So for the caps, uh, fairly standard uh, 4x12 XXL. I didn't touch the uh, stock settings. The uh, one is mic'd with a 57 dynamic, fairly classic, right? At a distance at two. Usually I would go a one, um, but for some reason I just left it here. And the second one is the 409 dynamic, and I pushed the distance up to four inches and left the cuts where they were. And uh, sounded pretty good to me. For the input gate, we are at minus 60 dB, so not doing a lot of work. Uh, we also want the sustain to be intact, so we can have those long sustained notes or chords if we wish to do that. Um, but we'll get back to the other gate in a minute. The simple EQ. If you followed me for a while, you'll see this trick, in, especially in my older videos. I kind of went away from it um, a little while back, but uh, it found its way back into my liking. And uh, these settings I blatantly stole from Sonic Drive Studios, so shout out to Sonic Drive Studios, an awesome trick. This is, uh, at least uh, for me, I refer to it as the string chime EQ, because it really brings out that, uh, that pick attack and that uh, high end that you can get from picking. So feel free to pause and steal these settings. And again, thank you to Sonic Drive Studios. This is a super awesome trick. Next, I have the compressor. Um, and again, stock settings. And all I do is I roll the threshold all the way off and then I play while I, um, I roll it back on. And then right around where uh, it's not too aggressive and not too obvious, I leave it there. And uh, I don't really want the, the uh, sort of aggressive compressed uh, sound. I, as I said in many of my other videos as well, I mainly like the compressor for playability. Uh, so I don't have to pick as hard, at least it feels so, and I don't have to work my left hand quite as much because um, I compress it on the way in. And very important, it's before the drive pedal, or at least that is my liking, and you can feel free to change whatever you want, right? Next up, the Horizon Drive, and this is fairly uh, stock settings for me as well, or uh, my regular settings. I like to put the attack off between 4 and 5, and I have the bright switch uh, right around 4, most of the time on the fall because it gets very high endy if we if we go too hard on that. But um, this is really what makes or breaks the tone. Of course, the amp is super important and a good sort of solid um, bass tone um, from the amp is important. But most of the uh, the hard attack and the um, the cool stuff and the compressed low end and all of that comes from this drive pedal. You can also use the Screamer 808, the old school Screamer 808. But this is super awesome. Next, because we want to uh, be able to play super tight and uh, really uh, have clear palm mutes and uh, not have a lot of uh, noise and all of that stuff, in this particular tone with this particular amp, I put the Horizon Gate. And I believe this is stock settings as well. Super simple. Uh, next up, we have the 10 band EQ. And here you can feel free to pause and steal the settings. This may very much depend on the guitar that you use and the pickups that you have, the amp that you are uh, using, if you're not using the Rift Purple. Um, because, yeah, it is just uh, very individual and uh, to your liking. But try to uh, use this as an offset and then change whatever you like. Um, as you'll see, I did some fairly aggressive stuff in the bottom uh, because I found 
again with these sort of muddy pickups, that I had a hard time uh, getting rid of the muddy low end while still uh, maintaining a good mid-range and a good uh, sort of clear high end without it being scratchy and uh, digital and annoying, right? We already ran through the caps, uh, super simple again. And lastly, of course, good old Nick Hiltrick, uh, the room reverb from the uh, Legacy um, collection there. And uh, again, <laughs> stock settings, and I uh, just changed the mix to 15%. And there we go. All right, so that is all for this time. I hope that you, first of all, enjoyed the tone, enjoyed the demo, and you can use uh, some of the tips and tricks from my approach in your own patch creation and, of course, your own creative endeavors. First of all, huge shout out to clients. I'm really looking forward to uh, go out there and shred some live shows now that the good old Rona is also uh, starting to uh, disappear a little bit, at least here in Denmark. And uh, thank you very much if you checked out both clients or you checked out my website or you checked out my own project, Etra, which is releasing their first single tomorrow. I think you should really check it out. Thank you very much for all of those things, or if you did one of the things, or two of the things, or whatever. Also, if you if you just watched this video and enjoyed it, throw a like and from subscribe. It really, really helps me out. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day with cool metal tones. See you around. <laughs>